Hey guys, I didn't want to leave you hanging um, when I uh, posted that uh, message about uh, uh, canceling the um, road bike build. Uh, been nothing but problems trying to get kits lately. I um, uh, followed the kit through Sudbury and then it went through Brantford and everything else. And then as soon as it hit Hamilton, they basically said uh, it couldn't be delivered it was being returned and you would have a refund within two to five business days and i'm like you're kidding me right <laughs> but that's the way it's been going lately it's getting really hard to get a hold of anything through amazon like that anyway um i find it worse now that um we got e-bikes that you can pretty much buy already assembled uh, not a lot of people are buying that stuff anymore so there's not the big you know get it out there get it sold kind of thing like the guy was you know, more than happy to take it back and uh, give me a refund. So I, I guess he didn't want to sell it too bad. Anyway, I'm done with that. I'm done with kits. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a pain in the ass through um, YouTube to get that stuff. Like, I mean, this channel only makes about mm, two to three hundred dollars a month, and I got to use that money to keep it running. And I basically burned two hundred and fifty bucks for something I'm not picking up. So now I got to wait a couple of weeks to get that back. And I'm leaving you guys hanging, so I'm done. Pretty much done with kits. I mean, if if um, a supplier sees my videos or sees my channel and wants to send me something for a review, I'm all I'm all for it because I don't have to pay for it, right? But uh, I'm pretty much done with the kits because I really don't get much out of it. I just just enough to keep the channel going. So uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to buy parts, modify them, stuff like that. I'll do batteries. I mean, I'll always be working on e-bikes, but uh, no more. I'm not building anymore. Unless this one breaks in half or, you know, something goes wrong with it, I'm not going to build another one. So, I mean, the other, the road bike will probably hang that on my, um, on my wall in my living room. <laughs> it's a nice little trinket. It doesn't ride very well. For whatever reason, I guess that's the way they were back in the 70s. I don't know. Never rode a bike back then. It was only the 80s when I started riding road bikes. So, still got the forks. They still got to be done, I know. I haven't been able to get to that because of this, this whole COVID thing off and on. And um, now with the uh, threat of war. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just one thing after another. So... Um, the last couple of days, all I've been doing with the bike is unmothballing, un un basically. I found a few electrical problems that i got to work out. Uh, one was with the um, fuse going to 12 volts. It's uh, flaky. Um, couple oh, I also found out what you can do without blowing anything up. You know, this is dual controller, right? Um, you know, you can do dual throttle on two controllers, or one controller. One throttle on two controllers, but you can also do... Uh, two speed settings on two controllers. Um, I was a little bit leery about doing it, tying them together, but I did, and now you can adjust the speed on both controllers with one control or one switch without blowing it up, which is kind of cool. Uh, this year I'll be also well putting that on. I'm going to replace the light. I always go for a new light every year. Um, I want to pick up some new brakes. These ones haven't failed, but uh, they're getting old. I would like to pick up the dual piston, see if they're any better. These ones are all right, but when you're going down the mountain brow in, the, in Hamilton, they tend to, um, I wouldn't say fade, but the, you could smell them when you're going down the mountain. So they're, they're, they're at their limit with the weight of this bike. So I should get dual, dual caliper or dual piston would be pretty good. Yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I'm, I'm just tired of this. Um, being screwed over by Amazon or Walmart or whatever, and I really don't get anything out of it. To tell you the truth, it just you you guys get more out of it than I do, and um, it's not the first time this has happened. So I'm basically out when it comes to kits. Like I said, times are changing anyway. Uh, you can pretty much buy a complete e-bike. You don't have to build it anymore. So anyway, I figured I'd I figured I'd share that. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Take it easy.